up guys it is lifted and in today's video we got a pretty spicy graded returns and this isn't the normal graded returns we're doing something new we got an experiment where it's not a PSA graded returns it's a Beckett graded returns so the first time sending our cards to Beckett let's see how we can do here so overall with the service they did upgrade their website and they have an app now and that functionality is great and before we get started i just wanted to give a little shout out to beckett you know they're a smaller grading company but they do hold a solid place in the market and if you can submit really good condition cards i believe you can get the most value by chasing that black label and particularly with Pokemon, that means submitting Japanese stuff. And yeah, that's uh, dominantly what we sent here. And you know, they, they got a pretty good place in the market for that and their gold label cards. But yeah, uh, aside from that, you know, they are pretty underpopulated. You know, PSA definitely grades more cards and holds a bigger place in the marketplace. But uh, with more people sending stuff to Beckett, hopefully they'll expand. Maybe one of my complaints after giving them some compliments, maybe my complaint being that if they gave more updates on their service, maybe that could be a thing. But yeah, they did release an app. They did update a few things and improved some things here and there that kind of led to me being more convinced into trying their service. But. Here we go, hopefully these cards turn out well. It did take a little bit longer. I will say uh, for another complaint being that comparing this bulk to the PSA bulk, uh, you know, I sent a lot of PSA cards and you know, they were submitted two weeks, I wanna say, or sent off two weeks after I submitted the Beckett bulk. And I wanna say that this, that submission has been back for months now. And maybe maybe a month or two now. That that sounds about more accurate. But yeah, it's it's been a little extra time. Beckett is charging a little an extra dollar. If you go no subgrades for their cheapest service, it's sixteen dollars a card versus PSA's cheapest service of fifteen dollars a card. So that is stuff to put into consideration when uh, coming down to grading cards. And you know, uh, I want to even say that the Collecticon submissions I submitted, like at, uh, I think it was September, well mid-September, has already come back and I got those submissions back too. So I got maybe three submissions back while waiting for Beckett. So, I mean, I would suggest using higher tier Beckett services and submitting higher tier cards, but if you're interested in bulk, that is a bit of a comparison. Uh, or a $15 versus $16 and the turnaround time comparison. Oh, we're starting with a gold label card. So yeah, we did submit like PSA 10 worthy stuff. And this is actually our first time holding a Beckett slab. So wow, really impressed on the quality here. I love to see the sleeve on the inside. That's a thing that I wish PSA did, but you know, maybe we'll start to make bigger movements towards Beckett. You know, they got really nice quality here. And he gets the 9.5. You know, if we saw the subgrades, I guess that would have been a, a little bit of a spoiler. But wow, cool to finally get my hands on a Beckett slab. You know, they feel pretty durable. I feel safer with my card in this than a PSA slab, to be honest. But, you know, the way the PSA slabs are stored as well are pretty safe too. I think uh, there was uh, another PokeTuber that did a video where they shook these. Uh, shout out to that dude, I'll have his name popping up on screen if I can't remember, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, Champion's Path, not really that exciting, but you know, like I said, you gotta be submitting PSA 10 worthy stuff and you know, unfortunate to get a 9.5 because this would probably get a PSA 10. And moving up next, Let's see what we got here. Oh, maybe we should look at the condition. Should I take them out the sleeve every time? Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, really clean cards. Not seeing any flaws, but we got a silver label, so we know something went wrong. Oh yeah, no, no subgrades yet. <laughs> okay, well, I think, uh, yeah, so $16 card. Yeah, that's really pretty, 
pretty good for using the Beckett service if uh, you get these really nice slabs if you send Japanese cards. $16 is pretty manageable. So, yeah, you want to get a good deal. And if you only, like, if you only cared about the tens, keep this in mind. Well, basically, if you submit under no subgrades and your card gets the 10, it'll, they'll give you the subgrades for free. It'll just add on to the card. So we got a gold label here. Can we see some subgrades? Oh man. Wow. Okay. So in this case, the champions path promos would have done better at PSA, but I do like the slab and I'm happy to have both versions available on the store as a nine, five at Beckett and a PSA 10. And you know, the quality is there for Beckett and you know, to be honest, this is the same as a PSA 10. I'm kind of on that boat now, <laughs> especially for considering how strict their grading system is. Oh, I spoiled it. Yeah, the jam. Okay, so no 10s on Champion's Path. We struck out, fellas. So all of these would have been PSA 10s. Ooh, a little, a little dirty case. That's not what you like to see, but I guess they didn't really care because it's Champion's Path. <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, damn, unfortunate, and that's kind of a bummer that they kind of got it a little smudgy, but anyway, three nine fives and one nine, that should be very good for the average grader. You want gold labels, that's, that's a win, but what do we have next? Hopefully, we can upgrade, oh man, even the Japanese is getting silver? Ooh. That's unfortunate. So, unless we can see any visible ding on the back, this should get a PSA 10 if we regraded it. That could be something very slight in that corner there, but almost even passable at PSA. Whoa. Oh, that's on the slab. Okay, so, uh, that's unfortunate that that's on the slab. Uh, yeah, these are things to consider, guys. This is my first time submitting to Beckett. This is an experimental submission. And they must have seen additional flaws because I only see that one flaw in the corner. Maybe slight centering, but this could have been a 9-5 in my opinion. Unfortunate to see it get a 9. All these cards will be for sale, so feel free to reach out. Um, there will be stuff on the on the Instagrams and eventually eBay, but yeah, reach out on Instagram for more negotiable prices. We got the 9.5 because I don't see those subgrades. What happened? Wow, what a nice card. Like, I don't, I don't know, like a lot of these full arts are kind of bulk, but if this would have gotten a black label, that would have been so nice and pretty underrated too. I don't see anybody submitting these guys, especially like the birds. The alternate arts for the birds are so nice, but even these full arts are pretty slept on. So yeah, pretty nice 9.5 Clarion Moltres there. If anybody wants it, just throwing that out there. We do offer Beckett now on the store. Wow, oh. And yeah, to complete the trio, that would have been nice if they all got the same grade, but Beckett's playing around. No, I'm just kidding, Beckett. I, I, st I still appreciate you guys. We still got more going out to you guys soon. We got a lot of work in progress coming soon. Yeah, so this one probably just didn't have any dings, but maybe they saw that as cut weird or the centering perhaps. Probably leaning towards maybe a centering problem, but yeah. Two nines, four or five nine fives so far. Oh man, what is this? That's not good. We got silver. Let's see if we can see the damage before we do the reveal. A little bit of dust on the slab. Don't like that. Uh, no, it's just the light for the most part in that corner. That corner is all right. Yeah, so I see a PSA 10 worthy card basically here, unless there's something on the surface. But yeah, they gave the poor Lapras a nine. If this was a very expensive card and you know, you tried Beckett and you wanted that PSA 10, by all means, that might be something to crack. 
but it's a cheap card in my case, so that'll be on the store just as is. And, oh, to go with our first shiny, can we get a black label? It's a gold label. Oh, okay, well, at least that means it got a 9, 5, or 10, maybe? Oh, the shiny didn't get the pristine 10. If it got the 10, I might have been interested in keeping this, but... Yep, no, we swung and missed, but was worth a try. Pretty cool one, though. Shiny Ditto from V-Star... Shiny... Shiny Star V? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And perhaps we'll do one more and then leave you on a cliffhanger. Alright, let's take a look here. <laughs> uh, we got the Eevee Heroes VMAX, I think I saw there. We got a gold label. And what will it be? Do you see any damage on that surface? Maybe slight cuts to the corners might be a little questionable, but... Ah, oh, no pristine. No pristine so far. We struck out on tens this time, but stay tuned for part two, and we'll hopefully get a ten, maybe a black label. Who knows? It's been lifted. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and uh, subscribe for more, and I'm out of here. Peace.